every single person from the football stadium who's paid to watch the football is now coming out and paying me again to go through my giant park. What a scam. So what if we took a giant city like this with 50,000 residents and turned it into one massive park? Could we make our residents pay us even more money as a mayor? Hmm, well, let's find out. Some of you may recognize this city from our one square challenge. And we built this city up. It's on one block. There we go, in our city. And it's doing very well. We do have unlimited money on, but we're still making money each month and we're growing as well. So I want to turn this into a giant park and see how much money we can make. So the first thing I'm going to do is get our park paint area here. Let's get the large one and just set this as one massive park. And then we'll start seeing what we can do to make people use it. I'm going to sort of go right outside the area there. There we go. Make sure we don't miss anything. Fantastic. Let's fill all of this in. Make sure we don't miss any spots. There we go. Missed a bit there. Oh, lovely. That city is looking pink. And we'll just go a little bit up there to make sure we've got it all. Oh, very good. Very good. So this is called Green Garden. You can just about make it out there. This is called Scammers Park. Scammers City Park. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't give it away. And hopefully that'll be fine. So what can we do? We want to start making people use that park more than anything else. And I'm thinking, people that want to get from one side to the other here, many of them will drive or walk down here so i mean if we put some paths across here that might just be able to help them and things like this if we can stop people walking in and they have to use a park entrance that could be good so if we check our budget see how much money we're making on the parks park areas zero okay so we're going to see what we can make let's start off with some simple paths across these bridges here and see how that goes okay it's done it almost looks like it's attached to this bridge which is quite good there we go uh, now what we need to do is put uh, not just a path across here we also need to delete that and connect this to a city park entrance there we go so we're going to bring that along here page down what we don't want is it to go <laughs> what is going on let's turn off prop and tree anarchy there we go Got that to connect to there, but nowhere else. I mean, what is that all about? Why why is that like that? I don't know. I feel like one part of me wants to say, let's leave it like that. The other part is saying, no, don't be silly. Let's fix that. There we go. Okay, that's good. And then we want to do the same at the other side as well. People have already started to use it. Excellent. And then we'll attach that to here as well. So if we go page down. Oh, it's doing it again. Look. <laughs> it's doing it again. Okay, we'll use Move It Mod to flatten that out. Excellent. So now they have to pay to use that. There we go. Look, people are going in. Excellent. And what we haven't set on the park, let's find Scam as City Park. There we go. We're going to put this up to max. We're going to put on Advertising Campaign, Main Park, Celebrate Every Night, uh, Night Tours. Uh, no, we won't do that one yet. Even More Fun. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some people in. We don't need recycled garbage. And there we go. So all of these people that are using this are going to be paying us to do so, which is fantastic. So already we will probably see this money going up as soon as the week ends. Well, I'll tell you what. Let us put some more of these in along the other bridges. How about that? We've got the initial one we put there. We've got another one here alongside that bridge. And we've got one over here crossing over that way. So that is already going to start making us some money. Let's have a look. 446, 60, 400. Yep, that's going to slowly creep up as more and more people use that. I would also like to find a way to have people visit these things and pay us some money as well. Because if we have a look at these, we get a few visitors in there. Let's have a look at this one. Yep, a few visitors there. What about this one over here? The Sea Fortress, a few visitors Oh, Statue of Liberty, that is fantastic. Now, at the moment, people can walk down the road to get there, but we can stop them from doing that. And then if we took that one over here, yeah, we could attach to another one there. So let's grab that. So that would go across the water like that. That's fine. People are very happily 
using this path anyway. Look, they're coming up to here and they're just turning in and walking down here. So <laughs> they're very happy to do that and give us all of their money to get over here to see this. And then they can cross over the road, get in. So even this person here, it was quicker to walk down there, but they're happy to come along here. So that is going to give us some money. What else have we got over here that we can we can scam people out of as much money as possible? Let's see if we can do something here. So this is another example where, look, people are walking down here. Can we? But we need a road access. Otherwise, this sea fortress will complain. Right, I think I've found a way to do it. So if you've got the road going through like this, if you make one part of it, say a national road or a piece of highway or something like that, people cannot walk on that road. But you still need a normal piece of road for your structure to attach to. Otherwise, it will say no road access. But like this person here is leaving, they have to use this pathway to get in and out. Uh-huh. And the same coming up here. They can't walk on that, so they have to. There we go. He's cycling through here. And every single person that does that uh, is giving us money. And I've added one this side as well for people cutting through if they wish. So that actually would work quite well over here. If we turn a piece of this... Uh, we grab our road, grab our national road, and just upgrade the bridge to a national road. Now people cannot walk that way, even if they wanted to, but cars can still get down here. So now we can do the same thing for our other sightseeing item. So like these things down here, let's change this. We'll upgrade that piece. I'll tell you why in a sec. So that's still got road access, that's fine. We'll change this piece back to that sort of road and that's where we're going to have our park entrance so we'll have our park entrance there and then they can come through here turn that around a little bit there we go so anybody coming in there has to go up that way to get over here to see these two things and that will make us a load of money as well we can do the same for this over here so people are coming to see what is this our floating gardens we've got visitors there so let's scan these people out of a ton of money. And there we go. That is how to do it. So they will cross over there, even though it doesn't look like there's a crossing. There we go. But every single person that comes down here cannot drive. They now have to come through our little park. Plus, they can use it to cross over as well. And people will quite happily do that. Even if there's other ways to walk, they will quite happily cross over. Excellent. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go through any other attractions that we've got and see if we can try and make people use paths and give us all of their money. Okay, so every single attraction along the river, I have this little setup with the national road that you can't walk on, a nice gravel road, and then a path coming in. And let's see how much money we're making now. 2,700 odd a week just from people using our parks that is absolutely fantastic now what about all these people coming out of here so we've got loads of people uh coming into our airport over here so 176 can we force them hmm, in some way to pay us so at the moment they come out the front here they jump in their cars and off they go so i'm thinking we could doctor this road slightly let's pause the game and make it so they have to do that. So first of all, we want to stop them walking in. Now we've got four lanes going either way. Let's see if we can find a road that's a similar size. So four lane national highway. Is that a similar size? Similar size, yes. Yeah. So if we... I don't want to do it there. If we go at either end and do that. And then we'll just turn this other piece back to what it should be. Which is one of those. There we go. So they now cannot walk in. Because I believe they can't walk on that national highway. Let's just have a look. National highway, medium traffic, does not allow zoning next to it. Yep. So these buildings will disappear. But they cannot walk along there. Excellent. Or well, let's just check. Yeah, look. This person here. Walking along. Walking along. Walking along. And disappeared. Yeah, they're going to get in their cars. So they're going to get out here. And then they're going to have to walk past there. And... If we put down, for instance, one of these here and one of these there and join that up there. And then we'll do the same at the other end as well. So we have one of those there. Let's just get rid of that building and one of those there. And we'll join that up. There we go. So we now have a way for people to come through. Look, there we go. Look, using it already. Was going to walk and has now decided to come through my path. Give us money. That is fantastic. We could do the same on the other side, which again means getting rid of a couple of big buildings, but it's all for making money. So 
you know me and making money in this city, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. So let's grab that there. Let's attach those. Oh, I'm going to have to delete that one. There we go. So they can now do it from both sides. And let's do the same over on this side as well. There we go. Excellent. We can see all the people now that come in to <laughs> look, that come in from our airport. Look, all these tourists. I was just laughing because it's also including the prisoners as well. <laughs> but they're coming in and they're walking. And then when they get down here, they may continue walking. We can tell they're tourists because of what they're wearing. Yeah, they're continuing to walk. So every single person coming in from our airport now has to walk and pay us. They cannot just jump in a taxi i mean there's taxis here which are a bit pointless now we should move those really but we'll see how that goes excellent so we're getting tons of money from the people going there where else could we do this i mean we've got this football stadium here which i'm sure has an absolute ton of visitors in fact there is a match proceeding at the moment and look at all these people if every single one of these people here when they left or turned up paid us money on top of what they paid to see the football. That would just be fantastic. Okay, let's just zoom out a bit. So what sort of visitors does this get? There we go. Um, so what have we got? It doesn't actually say how many people does it. Visitors, there it does, 750. So is there a way that we can make every single one of them pay us some money? It might mean moving this around a bit. Because at the minute they get access down here. Unless we do a similar thing. Let's just pause the game. Let's see what we can do. So they're all in there. They think they've paid their money. <laughs> Little do they know. So if we do that, is this going to still count as road access? Yes, it is. Okay, they now can't walk in this way. Um, there's that road up there. So if we change this one, that's it. They cannot walk in from any direction now because that road doesn't attach to anything. But we need this road here to give that road access. So now we need to add in our paths. And there's just not much room here, is there? We've got a little bit of space down the side here. So how about we squeeze in? Oh, it won't squeeze up against that, will it? It's got to go against a piece of road. How are we going to do this one? This is going to be fun. Well, let's find out where we can put our output. Our output could be there. And then that's going to mean getting rid of all of these houses. All right, this is it. Look, all the people are leaving. They're just coming out. So we've got to get this bridge. Uh, that bridge is going to come all the way up to here. Is that far enough along? And then we want it somehow to come down here and connect to this. That is the plan. So if we come along there, if I went straight across, where's that going to end up? Down there somewhere. And then if we attach to this one... Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. And that's going to come down there and scooch around here. And then that can connect up to there. Oh, whoa, my goodness me. But I think that now means that these people have to take that bridge. Because they're going to walk here. And then they all have to go up there. There is nowhere else for them to go. Oh, they can cross over here. Where are they going to go, though? They cross over there. No, nope, they're coming back. Look, they're crossing over. They're going, no, nope, there's nowhere to go. And they're all taking my bridge. Oh, my goodness. This is like everybody. 4,963. Oh, wow. Look at them all. Every single one of those what was it it was 749 nearly max capacity has look some of them are like crossing over nah, we'll cross back again there's nowhere to go <laughs> i have to do it look here they all come oh my goodness they're going along here oh this is brilliant let's just turn around and look at that that is that is i've got to get a screenshot of that that is absolutely brilliant they're all coming along here they're all... Oh! What's happening with the goddamn this? Ah! Uh, oh, God, his bike! Look! Let's find somebody with a bike that we can... Uh, that we can follow down here. This is nuts! Okay, there's got to be... Here we go, look. This guy here. Bradley Crowley. Here we go. We are following him on his bike. Come on, then. Here you go, Bradley. Hang on! Sorry, we're going down! <laughs> 
<laughs> There's Grandad on his bike. Did you see him? Oh, good grief. That's nuts. Okay, there we go. They're all down there, and then they're all going to climb up the other side. And then the only way they can get out is through another thing. Oh, that is just genius. I mean, it's sort of clogging up our roads a bit here, which is slightly annoying, but tough. I'm, I'm in it to make money, and we have just had all 700 and whatever it was people paying us to leave. Let's have a look. What is our money on now? 5,400 and something a week, approaching 6,000. That is nuts. That is nuts. What else can we scam money out of people for? Well, I'm going along every single bridge and I'm blocking each end with a piece of highway so people just cannot walk across the bridges because some are still trying to do it and are neglecting to use my... Do you know what? We could, in fact, just change the whole bridge. There we go. In that case, that's what we're going to do. And what about this one here? Yep, that section there. And then if we get that section there and that section there. There we go. These houses will end up leaving. But nobody can now walk across there. They have to use this path or... Did we not have a path coming that direction? I don't think we have a path coming this way. Oh, another opportunity for a park path. Let's open this one. Parks and plazas. And can we sneak one up in here from this connection? If I can, this will be amazing. We still got anarchy on. We have, but it's fine. It's let me do it. Let's just join that up. How's that going? Up and underneath. Excellent. Oh my goodness me. Let's check what we are making. Wow, it's creeping up to 6,000. That is fantastic. Nearly 10,000 altogether with our parks and plazas and stuff. Money spent by tourists. That is really good. I'm wondering whether that is actually including all the figures. Do you know what? I bet it isn't. Let's have a look at our scammer city park. Our info tab, £15,000 a week. That's like 60 grand a month. And we're nearly at five stars. Oh, we've hit all of the stars all the way along. You might have heard the things ringing as it did that from time to time. Wow. And we haven't even put down any of our attractions to do that. It's just been paths. That is brilliant. And here we have all the people coming to see Lady Liberty on her island, using my paths, paying me extra money, 60 grand a month. I think that is an absolutely fantastic way to use paths. Which other ways would you have used them? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the other video that's on the screen as well. I've done lots of challenges. And if you've got any ideas of other challenges you'd like to see in City Skylines, let me know. And I will see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.